Hey guys, it's 139. Um, this is a review for the movie Zombie Land. You can see I'm bundled up. It was uh, 22 degrees outside today, so you know I had to. Uh, I don't. I don't put the. I don't put the heat on. I refuse to because I save a lot of money on my electric bill, which can put. Uh, I can put money towards my Mustang, so you know I gotta save where I can. Um, anyways, that's why I look like I'm bundled up. You know I got a cape on. I look like Seto Kaibo with a purple cape. Anyways. Uh, Zombieland. Um, it's a quick movie, quick uh, horror uh, comedy movie, combination of, um, starring Woody Harrelson, Jesse Eisenberg. Um, don't remember the the uh, her name's Wichita. Don't remember her name, but it's the same girl from uh, the Amazing Spider-Man. Um, she played Gwen in that. Uh, it's like Zoe something I want to say, but I don't know off the top of my head. And another little girl that I don't know her name. <laughs> um, as you can tell, these are very professional. Anyways, uh, this movie is about basically, you know, classic zombie outbreak. They're not trying to be any, uh, like, fancy or anything like that with it. They know that, you know, they know what they are, and I appreciate that. They know it's just a stupid comedy, uh, horror movie. Stupid zombie movie, nothing special. It's not trying to be any groundbreaking stuff like that. Uh, but, you know, Jesse Eisenberg basically plays a nerd character. Um, he doesn't, they, they don't reveal his actual name. They call him Columbus. Uh, for the only reason, he's headed to Columbus, Ohio, so they call him Columbus. Um, so, you know, his character is basically a uh, kleptomaniac type of nerdy, always trying to be safe type of guy, uh, uptight a bit, um, tight ass as you could say, um, and um, ten or Tallahassee is a cowboy, he's played by um, Woody Harrelson, cowboy, self-proclaimed redneck, um, badass with a couple pistols, uh, he's got this one sawed-off rifle type shotgun thing, uh, he drives initially a Escalade with a battering ram on the front, um, so that's really cool, uh, Wichita is a, uh, mid-twenties girl, um, she's, you know, pretty tough, uh, she has a younger sister that she's taking care of, um, and so, and the younger sister, you know, she's pretty mentally tough. I mean, she's not very good with the gun, but she's very mentally tough uh, as well. So it's basically these four characters, and then Bill Murray makes an appearance for about 10 minutes. Uh, so that's pretty much it. That's the whole cast. There's not any other, you know, they don't meet anybody along the way other than Bill Murray. Um, no other characters, you know. It starts out with, uh, you know, there's... A cool scene in the beginning showing slow mo versions of I guess when the or when the zombie first zombie breakout first uh, occurred, chasing like firefighters and breaking up weddings and stuff like that, like cool stuff. Uh, and it, you know it's just a little flashback of Jesse Eisenberg, how uh, uh, of his character of how he came across the zombie apocalypse for the first time. Girl said, uh, you know, cute girl down the hallway said that a homeless man was trying to um, chase her and bite her and. Uh, she ran into his apartment, he kept her safe, she fell asleep on him, he fell asleep and he woke up and she was attacking him. Uh, you know, he, he's a nerd, so, you know, he doesn't want to hurt any, he's just like a very, he's a clean soul. He says he stays home and drinks Mountain Dew Code Red and plays World of Warcraft all night, I can relate, not World of Warcraft, but, uh, you know, close to it. Um, so he was like throwing toilet paper at her and stuff like that, like he didn't want to hurt her or anything. Uh, but eventually he takes the top of a toilet bowl, or the, the top of the toilet, you know, the thing where you can get it in the back of the toilet, and he smacks her, and he does it one more time, and ends up, you know, killing her, and then the zombie apocalypse ensues, and it doesn't tell you how he gets to where he is next, but, you know, he's on, in a, uh, gas station trying to get some gas in his Volvo, of all cars, his, you know, dinky little Volvo, um, but he's getting chased out by zombies, you know, he crashes the car, so he's, he's trying to get to Columbus, basically, his thing is, um, he didn't really appreciate people when they were around, uh, he wasn't a big social guy, uh, but now that they're gone, he actually misses them, so he's on his way to Columbus to go see if his parents are alive, and he misses them, and he wants to go see his familiar face, so that's basically his origin, um, you know, these characters are pretty one note here. The movie's only a, an hour and uh, 22 minutes, I believe. So it's a quick movie. Uh, the characters are not necessarily the main focus of the movie. It's kind of more of a, you know, it's a simplistic movie. It knows what it is. So it's not trying to be more than it is. Uh, you know, and I appreciate that. I always like it when movies, TV shows, games know what they are and they're not trying to be, you know, 
the best thing since fucking uh, sliced bread. You know what I mean? So I like that this movie understood what it was. Uh, it wasn't trying to overextend itself or overstate its welcome or anything like that. So the characters, like I said, are pretty one note. They're charming. Um, next character, Woody Harrelson's character, uh, Tallahassee. He's basically, like I said, he's a cowboy. Um, he's got some sweet guns. Um, and his whole thing is his, uh, you know, he acts like a tough guy in a rock and he loves the zombie apocalypse and everything, but he's actually really sad inside because his, he lost his son. So it's actually pretty sad to do a little flashback game with, and a little little guy, little man. Um, he's lifting him up and playing with him and everything like that. And uh, it hits extra hard because they do this about an hour into the movie and... Um, you know, the whole hour of the movie, you're seeing this badass, you know, uh, calm, cool, and collected character, and now you see him kind of um, soft, you know, in the, in the flashbacks, and how now he starts crying, and you're like, oh man, this hits hard. Uh, so, that, you know, but they did it well. They didn't change the entire tone of the movie where you're like, oh, that kind of killed my vibe. You know what I mean? Like, it, it continued to being a stupid comedy horror, but, you know, it, it managed to pull off a touching scene nonetheless. So I, I think that was good. Uh, you know, Wichita, she... Not really much to her character, to be honest. She just has trust issues. That's her type of thing. Her sister, you know, she's looking out for her sister. And I'm not really sure, you know, maybe if in the past something happened to her with maybe another group of people or what. But, uh, you know, it's, it's just them two now. So she's very protective over her sister. Um, you know, you're getting Jesse Eisenberg's, Eisenberg's walking to Columbus trying to, um, you know, just try to see if he can find his parents and he's get he gets picked up by Tallahassee um Tallahassee has this funny thing where he's obsessed with Twinkies so a hostess truck is uh you know dro driven off the road probably attacked at some point and so they crack that baby open and uh for me it this made me made me laugh I don't know why it's really not that funny I mean it's funny but it's like not the best joke in the whole movie or anything but they crack it open and it's only snowballs and Jesse Eisen or I'm um, sorry uh Tallahassee um Woody Harrelson's character is obsessed with Twinkies, and there was only snowballs in there, and he flips out, and he goes, I hate coconut, not the taste, the consistency, and for some reason, I don't know why, he just said it with such a deadpan face, it made me laugh, uh, so, that, you know, that's just a little side, like, jokes like that, um, then they, they're continuing their search for a Twinkie, and uh, they go to a gas station, they kill a couple zombies in the gas station with, like, a bat, um, and, uh, you know, they find Wichita. She's like, can you please help me come back, come in the back? And in the back they have his, her sister, and she's got a bite mark. And, you know, they want to borrow the gun to shoot her and end it. Uh, but then they end up pulling a fast one on them, stealing the car, stealing other stuff, and, you know, basically bailing out and leaving them high and dry. And at first I was like, wow, these bitches, you know, like I, I was really pissed um, because the way they handled it was like, like if we all get it, you know, like they're, you don't get it, but there's some type of respect, you know what I mean? Like, you're, we're all just trying to survive here, you know? Like, the bets are off at this point. There's no government. There's no laws or anything like that. Like, at least they didn't kill them, you know what I mean? Like, and you got to be all, you know, you got to be all, you know, smart about it. Like, oh, look at us. Like, ooh, sorry, guys. You know what I mean? Like, fuck you guys. You know what I mean? You're already taking our shit. Like, you really got to make us feel belittled, too. That's how I felt about the two girls. They were, like, belittling the, the dudes. I was like, really? Like, why do you got to be like that? You know what I mean? You're already taking our shit. We're not fighting you for it. Just why do you got to be, you know, prissies about it? So that got me on my nerves. But I, I saw the the um, title, or, or excuse me, the uh, the cover of the movie on Netflix. That's why I watched it. Uh, so I knew they all became friends in the end. But I, that they just pissed me off that they're, you know, they're, like, all smart about it, uh, you know, flaunting it, like, if you're gonna take our shit, like, why do you have to be a dick about it, too? Like, you know, just take our shit. You're already being a, kind of a cock. Just take it. <laughs> but anyways, um, the Columbus and um, Tallahassee uh, end up finding a Hummer H2 yellow, which is even cooler than the Escalade with the battered ram. But, um, so they end up finding the Escalade because it's a GM product, so it broke down, obviously. Um, so uh, they get tricked again. They were hiding behind hay barrels, you know, they show up with the gun, they take all their shit again, um, but this time they let them stay in the car, and, you know, eventually they get over their little beef, and, um, you know, they all become kind of like a group going to the same place together. Uh, now, there's just like a little bonding moment, I guess, they, they pull over, um, they want to get some rest, they pull over at a, uh, like a Native American gift shop, it sort of seemed like, excuse me, 
uh, they just start destroying stuff in there, which made for a pretty cool scene, um, especially seeing uh, Jesse Eisenberg's character, Columbus, destroying stuff because he's kind of like a tight ass, if I didn't say that already. So, you know, it was kind of cool to see him out of his element a little bit, kind of, you know, let off some steam, whatever. And he obviously has a thing for Wichita, so I think he was doing it a little bit just to uh, impress her or something. Um, so, you know, that the little bonding scene there. Um, then they go to Bill Murray, the actor Bill Murray's mansion. <laughs> I, you know, it's a comedy. They just do dumb shit, I guess. They go to Bill Murray's mansion. Um, they kind of camp out in there. Bill Murray shows up. He's dressed like a zombie. He looks like one. Um, he, he does it, apparently, to blend in. He said he played uh, 18 holes today or something like that. So I guess he just goes like, I am legend and just lives amongst, you know, the people or the zombies. But, uh, you know, he does his thing. Um, but he, uh, you know, there's like some funny scenes. Woody Harrelson's character is apparently a huge fan of his, you know, his Ghostbusters and all the stuff that he's been in. So he's flipping out about him. Um, then Bill Murray tries to play a trick on Columbus and walks in like a zombie and Columbus flips out and fires a you know, a, a couple shells, <laughs> um, into, uh, into Bill Murray's character, and Bill Murray basically just dies, so he was in it for, like, 10 minutes, um, you know, so that happened, um, <laughs> then, uh, you know, later on that night, they're getting loose, or whatever, that this is actually when Tallahassee's character talks about his son, um, and it gets a little, you know, a little emotional, um, there's also a scene where, Columbus and Wichita are, uh, you know, indulging in some alcoholic beverages, and they start making, well, they're, they're about to start making out, and Tallahassee breaks it up, and um, he's just basically a cock block, and then later on that night, they, they the, the two girls leave, because um, uh, Wichita has trust issues, and she said she almost, you know, kissed him or whatever and they have the one rule you know only trust each other and uh so they leave um and they go for a theme park uh, i guess you know wichita feels bad for her little sister for having to see all this stuff and she wants to take her to a theme park she's never been so um and this this is where the movie gets really stupid in my opinion it's just loses this is where it loses a lot of points for me um these two characters especially wichita who were incredibly cunning and smart um, you know, crafty, whatever, uh, go to a theme park, fire the whole thing up in the middle of the night, music, lights, everything, um, and expect nothing to happen, and, you know, like, if probably a thousand zombies, maybe not that many, but, like, hundreds of zombies charge in and everything, and they're, like, stuck on that thing where you go all the way up and then it drops you all the way down, they're stuck on that thing, just basically floating there, uh, helpless because there's a bunch of zombies under them. There's nothing they can do. Like really, the entire movie, these are like the two smartest characters. They're always two steps ahead of you, and they do something dumb as fuck like this. Like I just that was so stupid to me. I know it's a comedy and it's not supposed to be smart really, but it's just like over the top dumb, um, in my opinion. Uh, so Tallahassee and Columbus go and save them. Uh, Tallahassee has a really cool scene where he. Um, you know, attracts a lot of the zombies that were under the, the ride that the two girls were on. Attracts a lot of them and brings them into, like, one of those things where you can throw a dart and, like, pop a balloon. Like, one of those games. You know, you could shoot the water thing and get a stuffed animal. One of those. And he closes all the gates and he has uh, his two pistols. He's got, like, ten mags in, in a line here and he just starts shooting all the zombies. And whenever he runs out of ammo, he just goes... It's, it was pretty it's a really cool scene he kills like probably 100 zombies this way uh columbus is goes he goes somehow ends up in like a uh, haunted horror house or something like that and um you know he gets through it kills a couple zombies he kills a a, a um, clown zombie which in the beginning he mentions he's afraid of clowns um so he kills the clown zombie and he's they're able to save the two uh and you know they escape they go off together, and, you know, initially Columbus was trying to get to Columbus to find his family, but he decided that he already had a family here. So, you know, um, I don't know what happens with them two, Wichita and Columbus, but it seems like they, you know, are about to form some type of relationship or at least have some trust between the two. 
And also, I don't know if I mentioned this, but Woody Harrelson's character, Tallahassee, seemed to be, um, you know, trying to form a father-son type of relationship with the younger girl. So, you know, it was it was a happy ending overall. Overall, um, overall, uh, you know, it was pretty witty. It didn't make me fall out of my chair laugh. Like, though, I probably laughed probably, I don't know, like three, four times. And I'm not talking like dying laughing. I'm talking like, ha. <laughs> or whatever, like, smile. Like, it wasn't that funny, in my opinion. Um, I would say more fun... It was more charming than funny. There was definitely some charming scenes. The character... Two male characters I actually found pretty good. Wichita was decent, and her little sister wasn't awful. Um, just for child actors, usually they're not great, in my opinion. Uh, she wasn't terrible. She wasn't good, either. I, she was okay, you know. She wasn't a detriment or a positive. Uh, Wichita was decent. Um, but I think the, the relationship between, um, Woody Harrelson's character and, um, Jesse Eisenberg's character was really good because they are total opposites and they were total opposites yet they put up with each other. You know what I mean? Like they weren't like, um, just off put by each other, but they, they, they were just like, what? But they still, they made it work. So I, I actually liked it. Like, uh, both of them changed each other a little bit. You know, I, I thought it was a good two good characters they they worked really well together and i I actually like at the end how they um you know they the two found the empty holes in their lives with the other two which i thought was good um so i like the characters uh the story you know it was not really much there it it was that's sort of what the comedy thing is usually the comedy like there's not really much story that's i don't really get out of bed to watch comedies usually but when you tack zombies on that kind of gets me interested and plus the second one was coming out so i was like you know, maybe this could be a, you know, a good little movie I could get onto and, and, uh, you know, enjoy and recommend to people. Um, you know, there were some cool scenes. I actually really like how Columbus was going through his rules. Um, if you've seen the movie, you know, like he has rules like, uh, uh, always know your way out, um, practice your cardio and stuff like that. And it was showing up in the background, like in, in cool letters. I thought that was just a pretty interesting effect. Um, uh, you saw it, yeah, you know, I like that, um, yeah, it's, it's a short movie, you know, it's, it doesn't, it's not like a big impact on you or anything like that, it's just kind of like a nice little zombie little, you know, nice little zombie story with some decent characters, um, you know, a quick movie to watch, nothing groundbreaking, um, the only negative I really have, honestly, is the, uh, the scene where, they fire up the amusement park in the middle of the night because I think anyone with half a brain would know not to do that. So, you know, I just think that was very out of character for Wichita and really stupid. And I know it's a comedy, so it's not supposed to be, like, you know, the most clever movie and the characters. You know, you can kind of give some leeway with comedies, but I just think that was very over-the-top dumb, and it's, like, almost insultingly dumb. Like, to anyone who's ever watched anything involving zombies... You know not to fire up lights and music in the middle of the fucking night. You know what I mean? Like, that is really stupid. And to a grand, like, a mass... Like, it was a fucking amusement park. They blasted everything in that bitch. Like, it was nothing silent. Like, they could have just waited. If they wanted to do it and they wanted to lock all the... You know, maybe if they wanted to, they knew an escape route, locked all the possible entrances, and did it during the day, maybe I would buy it. But, like... In the middle of the night, they didn't worry about any entrances or escape routes. They just thought nothing would happen. You know, like, really? That's that, that's so stupid, in my opinion. So, that, plus, I didn't find it incredibly funny. I thought it was charming, not that funny. I laughed three times, maybe. And they weren't, like, dying laughs. They weren't, like, falling off the chair, you know, cackling laughs. They were just, like, little smirks or, like, ha, huh, type laughs. Um... So that's going to give uh, a total, I'm going to give this movie a 6.5 out of 10. I was going to give it a 5.5 out of 10. However, um, after, you know, some reflection, I decided to give it another point. Um, 6.5 on my scale is a solid, pretty good. <laughs> uh, so, you know, it's a mi- an hour, 22 minutes. If this was two hours and, you know, it wasn't really ground, like there wasn't, much else that was added to it you know it was just more the same i would say don't really bother you know it's all right but uh like don't get out of your bed to see it but um at a a hour and 22 minute runtime you know if you have an hour and a half to spare you know flick it on you'll enjoy it but you know 
Six and a half. Uh, I have not seen the second one, so you know I don't think I'm going to go see it in theaters either after this. Uh, maybe if it comes on Netflix or something like that, I'll watch it. But anyway, that's the end of this uh, video. Thank you.